Hi everybody, welcome back to towel number 10. We're trying some new high-tech equipment here today. <laughs> it's so funny. I'll try, I'll try to tell you what I'm looking at. We have, we have a tripod and we thought that maybe if we worked, held this on a tripod, it would be steadier and we'd get a better picture. We are striving so hard to make this the best we can make it with our limited skills. Anyway, we found that if you put a tiny little Statler eraser, it's about this long, on top of the tripod, Elizabeth can balance the, her phone against the eraser on the tripod. So um, for all of you people that are into photography and filming, you know, you might want to try this. It's, it's pretty spookum. <laughs> anyway, we are, let me get my stuff. We are continuing on with towel number 10, more bobbin and liberation. Uh, I'm using a mixture of 8-2 bobbins and cotton bobbins. So you can mix cotton and cotton. Um, cotton is generally 60% cotton, 40% linen that has been carded together and then spun as yarn and it's the same size as 8-2 so there's no reason why we can't put both of those in our weft they'll work just fine and uh, I'm going to use the 2-2.12 treadling or tie up right here but I'm going to do a point twill treadling this time can you see all that is it good oh good excellent okay so weave on kids we're gonna weave on I'll show you my palette oh pardon me <laughs> my beautiful palette of bobbins aren't those spectacular so they're a mix of cotton and a mix of cotton and this time unlike yesterday where I did that regular one inch grid this time I'm just gonna run through the colors and when the bobbin runs out it's done but in between each one of those I'm going to put some of that that yarn that we've been using as our divider between the towels. I'm going to throw one pick. So this is, this is actually, what is it? Three? Oh, it's three. It's three strands of 8-2 uh, cotton. And um, I've had this huge cone of this stuff forever. It started as a warp that was incorrect. And so rather than take this warp off the loom, uh, Charlotte took it, from the warping mill and just wound it around a cone. So we have this great big huge cone of these three strands that were originally a warp and I've been using it up forever for dividers, for zingers, and we're going to use it today as a zinger on this. Look at that. Isn't that going to be beautiful? So just one pick and I'm going to teach how to splice. So I'm going to get all set up here. My platter there. The big decision is going to be what color should I start with? Which end? I'll do my hem in plain in uh, plain weave again with my 42 linen, which is what I used yesterday. And here we go. We're hoping that this tripod gives us a much better picture. How's it looking? Looking good. <laughs> Liz is nodding at me. I hope everybody out there watching is fine, healthy, happy, staying in, coping. over a little couple picks out and I think I'll actually start uh, so we'll do the fold on the hem right against one of those big 
chunky guys. What are you doing? My eyes haven't improved since yesterday. <laughs> Darn. Darn it all. And you know, all those bobbins that I wound off, they're gone. So I have to get some more. <sighs> but I am eternally grateful to all our customers who are ordering from us. Because uh, we continue on and haven't had to lay anybody off, which is great. So, here's my... First pick, I'm going to put it on a, my first pick of one and two of my twill sequence. And I am going to splice it on this side so that it's close to the camera. So this is a big, heavy yarn. And if I tuck my tail in here and get a double tuck, it's really going to show. So one way that I can make that look smaller is for me to splice it. And so this is how I splice. I pull it out to the top to the surface and then I cut away in this case it's a three strand uh, three strands if I cut away one let's do one to start with I'm going to cut away two because it'll be the smallest so I cut away two doesn't matter which two and I put this back into the shed and I tuck my tail to where I cut and I beat it in and we're not going to see that fella. So I'll do the same thing here. It's going to look like a little bead. It's going to, it's going to be beautiful. So I pull it out up here. It takes a little longer to do this. I'll just cut both the way at, at once. Stick her back into the shed around the tree in the yard and back in. Come here. Get in here, little feller. Okay, and uh, now, look at that. It's this going to be this beautiful little bead. Oh, what should I start with? I think I'll start with the poiple. So I'm going to just weave this till it's off. Point to a treadmill. we're starting to get zigzags. Point twill gives us zigzags, vertical zigzags as we go up. And it looks like little scallops on our four and four sequence. Beautiful little scallops. We are drawing in a lot. This is really interesting to see. So I'm going to have to mess with this hem. Um, when I was weaving with that heavier linen yesterday, it pushed the warp out. This towel, the linen towel from yesterday, is much wider than all the other towels. I can see it down, wrapped around the roll. It's, uh, it's hanging out over the roll. I'm not going to worry about it. I can fix this, but I am going to have to tuck this under. So I went 
from that super width, even weaving the plain weave with the 16-2, it stayed out. Then I was playing around before we started today with my great big huge uh, zinger multi-thread thing, which kept the warp out. That helped keep this hem out. But now I'm going back to my 2 2 12 with, a, with the 8-2 cotton, which is much finer than the linen, and you can see the draw-in. So this is going to have to get folded in and tucked under for the hem. The other hem I think is going to be just fine because the web has already been drawn in. But these are technical things that happen when we play with different yarns and it's no big deal as long as you understand why everything is happening. And, and there's so many different ways of coping with these little issues. Rather than saying, don't do this, or you can't do that, or you shouldn't do this, you just do something different. Same thing on this side, cut away two, pull it back in, tuck my tail to where I cut it on both sides. That in. And there, we have a nice splice. And the fact that we used a much heavier yarn isn't going to affect the salvage. Next color, bobbin one down. being all different sizes here. So different from what we did yesterday. Much more controlled yesterday. Today we're just letting her happen. I did. 
I made a mistake right there where my foot fumbled. Fumbling feet. Nothing keeps you in your place as a weaver. Like making a mistake. in my head of I'm going and starting at the bottom one Notice that the quality is any better? Getting any answers, Elizabeth? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Nobody said anything. Is anybody there? <laughs> <laughs> There's 48 people here. There's 48 people there. Hi. <laughs> Hi, kids. I had dinner with one of my kids last night. It was so wonderful. I haven't uh, been letting my <laughs> my kids in because they are working out in the community and I'm not sure, you know, who they're around. But Eben has been uh, on his own and I thought it would be just great if we did social distancing in the house. So we had burger night last night and uh, a nice visit. And it sure felt special, I have to say. It, uh, I went to bed, much happier mom. Okay. Next 
robin that's kind of a bluey, bluey purple, bluey mauve. And this is codlin. You can tell codlin, it has much more texture to it. It's got a tooth to it. But they work beautifully together. Three bones in the bed. Another blue, a darker blue. This definitely is a movement of color around the color wheel. Um, but even within that movement, we've got light and dark the best we can. So there will be color movement in this if we come to see it. in it with all the color changes and with the zigzagging. 
ever to put things egg in because it has a lot going on. So to change the, any part of it now, I wouldn't do it. It would just become too busy for my liking. to the last couple of towels then I'm going to change the tie up and we'll do an eight shaft turned twill variation on the last two towels. Another bobbin. Another tie up and accent zinger. We got new chickens today. <laughs> For, uh, eight new layers came today. We ordered them a while ago. So now Elizabeth has new chickens and we have new chickens. How cool is that? Right, this is a teal. Codlin. Teal color. So getting darker. And then the next one's going to be interesting because it's peacock. Quite a difference. What's coming up is that. <laughs> but it'll be fun to see it. Anyway, okay. That is there. I think I'm going to put those here. I 
I hope learning some of these things are is good or that you're learning something new. Always so much to learn. Now I have two bobbins of this, you know, but I really want to, our stripes have been getting smaller and I'd like to have that continue. So I'm not going to weave the second big bobbin of this. I'm deciding to weave that one out just so I can get some of those other colors in here. And those other bobbins are small too until we get to the very end. Hmm. It's going to look like a nice, bright, happy zinger on this. mistakes. When, where are we? I should have measured. Okay, I'm going to measure. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel going from the 8-2 to the 16-2. So that is the beginning of the weaving. That's 30 inches, which means we have um, our 20 inches. I'm just going to put 20 inches here. We're going to go to 30. We know that that's 20 inches. And then we have our inch and a half and an inch and a half. So that takes up our 33. And I think I have enough for one more pick. Yes. Singer. So my zinger just goes in wherever the sequence needs it to go in. fun to make novelty yarns by taking a bunch of yarns and just winding them onto a bobbin like this. Because so often you don't need a lot of a novelty yarn to make something exciting. You just need that little bit of punch. Okay, so I'm not going to use you. I'm going to go into these two. This is just a little wee fart of a bobbin. And I have two. They'll be over in no time, so I'll use both of them. That'll give us two more bobbins to sell.
So we found out that Shaft is reopening on May 11th. We'll be able to get some bobbins. Uh, sure, uh, well, who knows when. I'm sure they have huge backlogs of orders. But this will help until the end. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> man, oh man. I got one of those, is that a, I've got a messed up situation here. <laughs> a messed up sitch. going up or coming down. Coming down, yes. Going up. At the top. Coming down. Green is a little longer, a little bigger. interesting to look at these four by four stripes on the side <laughs> our four by four our all terrain work <laughs> vehicle <laughs> sorry having a silly moment um they they look so different the striping sequence looks so different with each color change it's really interesting to watch that I hope you put a work like this on or something similar. You can have fun.
There's a new episode of the online guild coming out on Thursday. It is uh, all about point quills. Lots of fun. And uh, I read huge gaps with the goal of making baby blankets in mine. But there's some absolutely fabulous patterning in, in that episode. All right. Oh. Oh. Hmm. What could I use? Well, it's too close to the edge and I don't want it to open up. So I'm going to take you back to this side. Make sure you're good and secure. Another bobbin. Zinger time. Almost there. Oh, gee whiz. All right, Ooh. what have we got left? That's next. Ooh, it's that guy. It's going to end with a solid. I think this will end it. There's definitely three or four or five inches on that. That was 20. We're at 26. You know what I'm going to do? This is where I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I have these three colors left. I think I'm going to go and use that one. And then whatever's left over, I will use this one to cap her. And maybe that one. Oh, it's so hard. Just so hard. <laughs> the decisions. Oh, the decisions one has to make. <laughs> okay. Silly. either call it quits here. That's, we're at 20 plus the hem plus 20, 28. Oh, I think that I'm not going to add anything more to this. To put two more inches of another color it doesn't really make any sense. I don't know. What should I do, Elizabeth? Two more inches or to give me 30 plus my hems or should I call it quits? You get to decide because you're standing here. <laughs> I think you just ended there. You think I just ended there. Okay. Well, you already used that She color. spoke. 
That's perfect. So I will put this guy in and he'll be right on the edge of the hem. He'll be so pretty. Oh, zinger. You do have to be careful when you're doing this not to cut your warp threads. I have done that in the past. <laughs> and it sucks, <laughs> I have to say. Okay, okay. All we need is a hem. A hem in that other dark color. Let's see how what our bobbin count is today. At least seven or so. And we'll check that hem out on this side. So now I'm back to cleaning using the 42 linen. And let's see if it wants to push out. You know, it might want to push out because it's the linen and the linen is wirier. It is, it's pushing out. Look at that. So there is, here's reducing your the, the weight of your yarn and it's still pushing out. So I'll have to manipulate this and tuck it in a little bit to, uh, as well. So tomorrow we're going to try this with similar yarns. Um, and we're going to do the hem in 16-2 cotton, which is exactly the same weight as this, but cotton is softer. It's more pliable. It, it bends better. Linen is more like wire. And so we're learning stuff. It's so good to learn all this stuff and not react and say, oh my gosh, my towel's ruined now. We're just going to have to change how we hem a bit. I have to roll that edge in, in the hemming. It's totally doable and easy. Yesterday we pulled that out. We have to do our bobbin count. Yeah, let's see if I do. Yeah, look at this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten. Oh, well, I can't have that one. It's got someone's name on it. Uh, we have nine bobbins available for sale on the JST website. And let's have a look at this puppy. That is random sizes. <laughs> Looks pretty darn good. It is different though than yesterday's. You know, there's yesterday's with that defined limited space where everything changed on the inch, moving through those colors with a graphic grid laid on top. And here it is just going through the colors in that gradation. They're both beautiful. What we get from this though is these little moments where we see all this magic happening on those four by four sequences. Some of them just stand out. So these are great color studies. Just great. Look at that one. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God. What a blast this warp has been. All right, my darlings. 
that's it for today and uh, I'll be back tomorrow for towel towel number 11 I think we have uh, enough for two more and I'm gonna change the tie up to an eight shaft tie up and we will weave it as turned twill doing something with the colors I don't know yet I'll figure it out bye see ya